Well, following top flight relegation, nobody expected Dundee United's revival to be easy, but few predicted a potential crisis this early on in the campaign. But it's been a rocky start to the rebuild. Jim Goodwin simply has to get it right tonight. McMahon, who just has to refind his footing, but he's done really well to beat McKenzie. And now Glass gets the shot away and just over the top. We've just see another cross from Scott McMahon. That's a hospital ball in the midfield from Williams. And Dundee United onto it, and here's Glass, and there's Sibold. <laughs> and Dundee United pounce through Craig Sibold, and the response that was needed, and the Dundee United self. Uh, Supporters celebrate, converting, but it was Partick Thistle, architects of their own downfall there with the pass from Williams. It's such a risky pass. I don't think Williams needs to roll the ball into that area. You've got to be sure that that ball is going to be safe, it's going to be looked after. He puts young Stanway under all sorts of pressure, then he's on the back foot. Just exactly what Dundee United wanted. They wanted the pressure to come off. The two central defenders, maybe sometimes they might have to step forward and try and engage with their opposite number. Here's McMahon, he's got loads of space to measure this cross. Looks for Kujo at the back post. Partick Thistle looking to get things going here. That's a good ball from Lawless for Fitzpatrick. Options in the middle, Williamson is one of them and over the top from Doolan. That was intended for Doherty, seen by Stanway. Now Bannigan, Graham. From way out wide, flashes the shot in, but Doherty helps it on, looking for glass, it will come the way of Graham, again might be looking to get that on his right foot, as Williamson has said, back to Graham, wonderful move, wonderful goal, and Brian Graham makes no mistake this time, he might have passed up the first chance from six yards, but the link up between the number nine and Ben Williamson, it was intricate, they feel like that was a foul on Declan Glass, but Partick Thistle don't care. Look at Brian Graham, lovely little reverse pass, but look at his instinct. He's getting himself back in between the sticks. Ben Williamson could easily have fizzed that ball across the face of goal, but he's clever. He recognises where Brian Graham is. His way to pass is absolutely perfect. Harry Milne and Aaron Muirhead, the two over this. It will be Muirhead with the curl and the save pulled off by Jack Walton watched it well all the way from Aaron Muirhead I think if Jack Walton gets beat from there he'll be majorly disappointed he got there in the end Lawless to take there's Graham and the touch comes in from Mill another big save from Walton this time from point blank range Lawless to take the corner and it's Malt that guides that away Lawless with another chance to Swing it in, and the touch takes it into the back of the net. Harry Milne celebrates. He scored up at Peter Head in the opening minutes on match day one, and Partick Thistle have turned this one around in Dundee. Yeah, you talk about the second phase of a set play. I think it's possibly, is it Aidan Fitzpatrick that actually gets the flick? or just goes for the challenge, whether he gets a flick or whether he misses it, but Harry Millen somehow manages to bundle it into the back of the net. Stephen Lawless is all the time in the world. He manages to lift his head, pick his spot. Dundee United switch off. They don't stay with their men. They don't anticipate the second ball's coming in, and they have been punished. Middleton ran into the brick wall of Bannigan, and now on the break with Fitzpatrick. Graham in the middle, Lawless at the back. Fitzpatrick goes it alone. He hit it hard. He hit it well. And he pulls Walton into action. Great space for Partick Thistle to go and counter attack. And he's the man you want in possession. Good ball carrier, good dribbler. He possibly could have taken him into the box, taken another touch, go and try and commit. We've seen him do it on the big stage as well. I remember one at Hamden Park in the St Johnson days. Glenn Middleton. Oh, he struck it well. It was not far away at all. Freeman up to Mikasin. Ross Doherty's gone down, but in comes the cross, and the header is just over the top. He should have done a little bit better. 
Good play by Mikas on the right hand side. Manages to create a little bit of space for himself. Interfered. Dowds up to Lyon. He's done well. Now Lawless through for Dowds, but the flag goes up. The celebrations cut short. And my initial instinct was he is maybe just a yard offside. He just went a little bit too early. I've had the best players on the pitch have created chances. So I think Chris Doolan can give himself a huge pat in the back tonight to deserve this. It's a great start to the new season for Partick Thistle and Chris Doolan.